Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! yes. Ready, steady, go! Wait! <laughs> stop! Stop! What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. No. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? 
We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <laughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Peppa... Riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Peppa and George. Ha -ha! Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> the pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Aw, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. 
The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look! What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow! Hello! Sorry we're late. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Am I in time for the pumpkin competition? Yes, of course. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to... Peppa Pig. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth. And in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No. Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. <laughs> George's first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> But he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. <laughs> In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <laughs> If you let it go, it will go up and up and up, all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> ah, got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. 
Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. <laughs> I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> Go! And they're off. Come on, George. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am! What do we do? Put the wheel back on! OK, okay chief mechanic! mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come, Come on, George! George. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! <laughs> wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please! OK, hop in. <laughs> <laughs> Colors of the rainbow. That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. 
Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Peppa. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, <laughs> you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Yeah, you'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready? Steady. Now, Peppa! Woo! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. Woohoo! I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. 
Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho! Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Look, <laughs> <laughs> so we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? It's George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> What a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. What? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. 
I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! The box away for you. Oh, yes, thank you. No, Daddy, we need that box. Look what I've got! Great! That's your castle almost done! Hooray! Hooray! It's not almost done! We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter... Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my mummy and daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Pepper? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Pepper. What do you think, Pepper? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's Nina. Dee -daw, Dee -daw, no, Dee -daw. police cars go. Woo -woo. I might explain. What I was about to say was police! The police! Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! 
Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. George, wake up. <coughs> Santa's been. <laughs> Bubble Mix. <laughs> Comics. And tangerines. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, it's Christmas. Hey, what? <laughs> It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa! Mr. Ah! Pedic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look. The carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <laughs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> 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 this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes. I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here and that goes there. Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. You have to say the secret word. Shalamakuki. Shalamakuki? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret. 
secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? What will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> Friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Ah! <laughs> day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain! Aye, aye, captain! <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag! George, raise the flag! <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell! Peppa, ring the bell! <laughs> Be the captain, please. Okay, but as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Bonjour. Bonjour, Mr Donkey. My goodness. Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes. Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <coughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. 
Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <coughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy, Mummy, can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous. <coughs> If you want to play my pirate game, say R. R. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? R. Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh! Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yo ho! <laughs> Whoa there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? It's Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato! <laughs> oh, it's just Pepper. Oh. Hello, everyone! Hello, Pepper! Susie thought you were Mr. Potato. <laughs> I don't look like Mr. Potato. No, you're much too big. Mr. Potato is bigger than me. No, he's not. He's a potato. And potatoes are this big. <laughs> There's Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato has come to town. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, that's a big potato. I declare this sports center open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't 
too small, like a normal potato. Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> we watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Have a pedalo. <laughs> when I ring this bell, it's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedal. On a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine. I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy elephant. elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're sailing. We're canoeing. We're pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying Fruit Day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. 
<laughs> Everyone loves fruit and carrots. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> The bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her! Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> me! <laughs> She's very heavy! Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> and what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. This music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. 
This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> It makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. oh, I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. Peppa, let's do a bicycle race. OK, ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then, we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Okay, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Thank you. 